Hello guys. Welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we'll look at uh, some revision questions in biology. Okay, so this is our revision number 13. Figure 3.1 shows a fetus developing inside the uterus. So you okay, can see it is labeled A, B, C, and D. The fetus developed from a fertilized egg soil. Put an X on this figure to show where an egg cell is normally fertilized. Now, where does fertilization occur? It's in the fallopian tube or in the oviduct. We can put an X. It can be here or there. As long as it's within this part here or that part there. Anywhere, as long as a fallopian tube. State the functions of the structures labeled A and B. Now, for you to know the function of something, you need to know what the, the name of that thing is. Now, when, um, what is A? A is the placenta. Now, what does the, where, what, what, what does the placenta do? There's one, exchange of gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Also, the exchange of materials between the wadi, so, sorry, exchange of waste materials between the mother and the fetus. Also, it's also important in the exchange of nutrients. So, A, which is the uh, placenta, in this case, you don't have to say the placenta, just say A, uh, set the functions, okay, used for transfer, you can say transfer of what? Of nutrients. Okay. B. What is B? B is the umbilical cord. So this one, it it it, it is in, uh, involved in the carriage of what? The carriage of blood uh, to and from the placenta. It also carries some, you know, waste materials as well. Okay. So carries. Blood or there fetus to and from the placenta. Describe the laws of the structures labeled C and D. D during labor and birth. What is C and what is D? C is the, uh, the, the muscles of the uterus. Yeah. Then D is the cervix. So the muscles of the uterus, they contract to push the baby out. Okay. This contract to push the, sorry, to push the baby out. Now D, which is the cervix, it dilates, okay? This one dilates to facilitate or to allow the exit. The exit of the baby. Okay. Figure 4.1 shows a model of how an enzyme works. Label the enzyme molecule. So the enzyme is this one here. Okay. So that's what I'm going to label enzyme. Enzymes are biological catalysts. Explain what is meant by the term a catalyst? What is a catalyst? A catalyst, it's a, uh, it's a biological uh, substance that speeds up or it increases the rate of what? A chemical reaction. So a biological substance okay, that speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction. What's 
state why enzymes are important in organisms. Enzymes have got a lot of importance, but one of them is that in organisms, okay, do carry out what we call metabolic reactions. Now, these, they are usually carried out at a certain rate. So the presence of enzymes enables these metabolic rates to be carried at a higher speed than normal. So why are enzymes important? Enzymes mm, increase the rate of metabolic reactions Question 7 Figure 7.1 shows a section through a flower write one letter from figure 7.1 to identify each of the following so you have to identify each of these you may use each letter once more than once or not at all a peto which one is a peto a peto are those you know bigger ones right? that's j an anther what's the function what's an anther how does an anther look so an anther is where pollen okay comes from so that is f you can see by the structure this then the other one is the stigma the stigma what is the stigma the stigma is h you can see by its shape a male part of the flower a male part of the flower that is f the anther a part of the carpel a part of the carpel g and h they are both part of the carpel g and h remember the carpel is this part so g and h sepal talk of the sepal sepal is what e Describe the evidence that this flower is pollinated by insects. From there, how could we know that this insect, this flower is actually uh, pollinated by what? By insects. One of them that has got large petals. It has large petals which attract insects. What else? The anthers and the stigmas are inside the what? The petals. Okay. The other one is that the anthers and the stigmas are inside the petals. All right, guys, so we are done. I'll see you in the next video.